In this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy a GitHub project on Vercel. Now, this is going to be a step by step tutorial for beginners or anyone that's just curious on how you do it. So what you need to do first is go to GitHub and create your project. So I'm going to create a repository and we're going to go ahead and just create a very simple to do list. So I'm going to type in to do. I'm not going to add a description. Uh, I'm just going to simply create the repository and we'll upload the file. So we'll go to quick setup and we'll upload the file of the project. So I'm going to drag in my file. So I've got the index file here. I'm just going to drag it on and we're just going to commit these changes and it's then going to process these files. Now we've got this uploaded to GitHub and now we need to open Vercel. Now what we can do from here, you can go ahead and click start deploying and it will then take you to this window where you can then continue with GitHub. So click on that. And then what's going to happen is it's going to ask you to authenticate your GitHub account. Um, it will allow you to select it. Once you're on it for the first time, you just have to select your account and log in. Because you've already logged in on the other tab, though, it will recognize it. So just click login. Then click uh, import Git repository, click install, and it then will open this window. What you can do from here, Again, this is the bit right. You need to click continue and log in. Now you can import or install all repositories or only selected ones. I'm going to click only select repositories. We'll click on this and then we'll import the to do list. Then we can go ahead and click install and then it should see it. So here it is here to do 59 seconds ago. Then let's click import. And what we can do, we can give it a project name. So I'm just going to call it to do now give it a framework preset for me. It's just over because it's a to do list. And then you can just click deploy and then it should add that and deploy that project. So there we go. It's now deploying. Now, any changes that you make on GitHub, it will automatically update on Vercel. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I am still new to this, but here are the basics and this is exactly what you need to do. So just wait for this to process. So there we go. That has now been deployed here. You can see the to do list. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to continue to dashboard and here inside of Vercel, you will see your projects. If you click on this arrow here, you can then click on your account and then you see your projects. Here is the to do project, which we can click on. Now, if we wanted to visit it, we can click on visit in the top right or just click on the domain and then it should then take you to the project. And here is the project. So here's the to do list record video, click enter. And now we've added record video. So this is our project. It's now being deployed on Vercel and any changes we make from GitHub, it will then update on Vercel. So I hope that quick video helped you out. Let me know in the comments if it was useful.